My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be installing this switch interrupter commutator on the 1983 Toyota Church Cell Project. So up until now, we've been having to plug in the fan manually by the battery. So this will go into the radiator, get us temperature sensor reading. We can adjust this and it'll allow the fan to run off the ignition switch and turn on and off automatically depending on the temperature that the little probe does in the radiator. So that's the plan, that's the product for today, and uh, let's get into it. So here under the hood we have the battery, we've got a power source, and so far we've just been plugging this in. That's worked pretty well, it's kept our temperature down, and uh, but it's a temporary solution, so now we're gonna fix it permanently. Might be actually best just to take off this radiator. So we've got two 12 millimeter bolts. Okay, so here's our rat's nest of wires for our kit. This is the control module, and what we've got here, if we can focus, so we've got a relay here, and this blue thing is a little turnstile, so that blue thing is what you can control the temperature with. And then coming out of this, we've got a red wire, so your red goes to power, so that goes to your, your battery power, and it's on a fuse. We've got a black wire, that's your ground. You've got a orange wire. The orange wire is power out, so that'll go power to the fan. And then this little gray one is our sensor. So here's our probe. This probe will go in the radiator, and that'll give us our temperature. We want that as close to the hot side as we can. So the hot side is right here coming in. Cold side's going out the bottom. Um, they've already mounted previous homeowner or the homeowners, previous vehicle owners mounted the fan <clears throat> kind of on the hot side. So we're gonna need to put this as close as we can here. Unfortunately, we wanna put it on this side and this control module really ought to be close over to, we wanna put this relay over here by the battery. So that really kind of limits us um, how we wanna do this. Probably just put it up towards the top. Um, water's gonna come in, go on this upper cavity and drain down. Um, so it, probably gonna have to do it on the top on this side just for access reasons. And uh, you know, unfortunately that, that length is just so short. You know, this is a small car. That's a little bit disappointing. Um, but we'll be able to mount this over here. Um, probably mount it right here. And uh, we'll just put the probe through on this side. Okay, I'm really liking this spot for the control module. It's a nice little flat area under here. We'll put the blue screw tip up high and we can actually see that really well from under the grill here, or from under front here, if we really had to, we could remove the grill. We'll put it right here, approximately. And the way this is installed, we got these little push pins. So this push pin will go through there, and then we can push this tab it on the way, and it'll expand on the other side and hold it in place. Okay, that's not working very well. Let's go ahead and try some rivets. Put a rivet through here.
Okay, so the orange wire we got hooked up to the power going out to the fan. Fan already has its own ground. Just put a new bud on the end of the red so we can just plug it right into our hot. Then we'll have a quick disconnect if needed. Now I'm going to check my power. Um, so we need to find an ignition. This one should be the radio. It says it's on right now. Engine. It's off. Hazard horn radio on. Turn the ignition to on. Engine is on. Headlights off. Charging is off. We're going to pull this guy. So that's our power side. All I really need to do is just get this wire up in here. Not sure what you can see me doing there. I basically just cracked open this harness, made room for my wire to go in there where it channels the rest of the wires. And then I'm going to splice this along. Not necessarily kosher. We do have other fuses in line. We're going to put this on the fuse side so this does blow. It will blow the engine fuse. So we'll, we'll know real quick about it. Nice and clean. Okay, so we got these wires all nice and tucked. This main harness kind of comes together, all stays close and tight. Up underneath here, we've got a couple loops here, and then we've plugged into the battery and plugged into the other end on the orange where my terminal was. And then that black wire is going back to the fan, and then the yellow is going in the underside of the fuse box here. So now I've got to just tidy up this green wire and the black wire, our ground wire kind of loop those up a few times. Also ran the gray wire up underneath here over to the thermostat. Okay, basically the same thing there. Zip tied it to this neutral wire, the, the negative, and uh, the other one's zip tied down there. So all tucked up, we can uh, start it up, let it idle, see if that fan kicks on. Obviously we need a little bit of Clean up here.
got back from a test drive. Thermostat's doing great. I was able to remove the turn on fan sign we had sitting here as a reminder, so that's good to go now. Got the odometer on this, we got 196,000 miles on it here. So here's what I had before. We just had this little on off switch. This was just like taped on the dash or whatever right here. And they just manually turned it on, but uh, that wasn't gonna work. You can see they've got some Velcro here. So got rid of that. It's working right. Throw this in the trash. Looks like somebody had a haircut. If you haven't seen the haircut video, check it out. Turn off the headlights. Same feature as the Toyota Highlander right there. Okay, so here's our little harness all hooked up. We got our probe down in there, sticking through. All hooked up to the battery. Good to go. Okay, so yeah, you turn off the car, pull the key out. Oh, no buzzer. No buzzer. So the Highlander has the exact same lights as this. If you haven't seen the Toyota Highlander review video, check that out. But uh, totally old school technology, 1983 to sell right here. Same headlight system as the Rav, or excuse me, the Highlander. So Highlander, you have to turn that off, otherwise you're gonna drain your battery. Now you know. Okay, well that'll be a wrap on this video with the uh, 1983 Toyota Tercel. It's our little project car with uh, Toyota Fixation. So uh, yeah, quick little simple easy install project. Working great now, doing what it needs to do. And um, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching 3 Garage. My name is Carson. Welcome to Toyota Fixation. And in today's video, we'll be doing a review on a 2021 Toyota Highlander.